For today's video, I want to talk to you about why you should not set New Year's goals. That's right, give up on creating goals this year. Now, you know that I'm an advocate for goal setting and achieving your dreams, so why would I be saying this? Well, first off, let me explain that you don't need to wait until a new year to make changes in your life. You can do that at any time. But that's not what this video is about. This video is gonna get deep. It's got some stuff that you need to hear that you probably don't wanna hear, but I'm about serving it to you fresh, and so that's what we're gonna do. It always seems that New Year's is this time to be inspired and everyone is always setting goals about what they can get more of. I want to look more attractive, I want to get more money, I want to get more popularity or more fame or achieve or consume these things. But in order to do that, you need to let go of what's actually cluttering up space. Think about this as a room in your house. If you've got a room that is literally hoarder status, packed to the brim with books, technology, products, food, clothing, papers, laundry, you name it, you can't even see the floor and the walls are literally closing in because it is so packed full of stuff, you're not gonna be able to put a nice new piece of furniture in. Let's say that you want to get a nice new bed that you can sleep safely on, or you wanna get a nice makeup table with lights so that you can exercise your creativity and do something to feel beautiful. Or let's say you want a bookshelf where you can showcase your books and organize them and really appreciate your intellect. In order to get any of those new things into your room, you've gotta clear out some space. You've gotta get rid of all the stuff on the floor and all the stuff that's closing in the walls in order to make space for these new and better things. And on top of that, you want to actually have room to be in that room and use that bed, play that guitar, have space to live comfortably. That room is your mind. Oh yeah. It's cluttered with a lot of opinions, a lot of baggage, and a lot of experiences. And we cannot grow into the person that we are meant to be until we let go of the things that are no longer serving us and no longer helping us live happy, productive lives. So with that being said, this New Year's, it's not about setting a new goal for yourself or achieving or consuming something great. Today, we are talking about the three things that you need to get rid of and cut out this New Year so that you can make the next 12 months the best they can possibly be. The first thing that you need to cut out of your life is other people's expectations. Everyone's trying to lose weight or gain muscle or change their body in some way. And let me tell you, regardless of how much time you spend on your meals or at the gym, you are not gonna look good wearing other people's expectations. They just don't look right on you. If you're wearing someone else's expectations, you can't look good in your own expectations. It's only you who makes decisions for your life. You know what makes you happy. And it's so funny because everyone around us is asking, well, are you married? Do you make a lot of money? What are your goals in career and life? But they don't sit back to ask you, are you happy? Are you enjoying life? Everyone's life is different. Everyone has their own morals, their own values, and the things that they attribute importance to. And you are one of those people, which means you need to identify what is right for your life. Let go of other people's expectations, because honey, you look fine in a lot of different clothes and in a lot of different things, but not in other people's expectations. The second thing you need to let go of is judgment. And let's get honest here. As humans, we tend to judge ourselves and other people. People. You need to let go of that. First off, you need to let go of the guilt that you put upon yourself and that you use to judge yourself, especially over regrets. Think about something that makes you cringe in the past. Money that you spent, relationship that you had, something that you said to somebody that you really regret. Let me tell you, that regret is there for a reason. It's to help you change so that you don't make that mistake in the future. On top of that, whatever that action was, in the past you said or did or acted in that way because it was something you wanted. And even though it's not who you are now, it's something you identified with in the past. And you need to at least give that feeling enough respect and say, hey, I saw that you were there, but I'm moving on from this. The other thing that you have to stop judging is other people. And as humans, this is so easy to do, especially as insecure humans. When we are insecure, we do tend to judge other people. And when it comes down to it, you have to remember that everyone is on their own journey. Everyone has their own morals and values and things that they think are important. And because that's different from person to person and everyone's life experience is different, how are you supposed to be judging someone else if you don't want them to judge you? And how are you supposed to judge someone else when your life is so different from theirs? In addition, something I like to remember is that everyone is doing what they think is best for them at that place and time. 
And they might have done something horrible. This could be as serious as murder from a criminal, or this could be a friend accidentally doing something that, that kind of felt like a stab in the back. This could even be as simple as someone who bumped you in line or on a train. And when it comes down to it, people are making the best decisions that they can at that time. No human would purposely try to do something that they didn't think had a benefit for them or somebody around them. Even if their logic is completely twisted, they're doing what they think is best for them. So obviously there are a lot of people who have room to grow, but it's not your responsibility to teach them that. It's their own responsibility to grow. And if you stop judging other people, it allows them to go through that process on their own. And you judging other people is just creating rules and expectations that then you have to live up to for yourself. And if you don't, then you feel like a hypocrite. And I have done this so much in the past that let me tell you from personal experience, it gets bad. And then you have to live up to this standard that you don't even want to hold for yourself. Let go of judgments for yourself and other people. You will be a lot happier in the long run. The third and very last thing that you need to give up this new year is control. Ooh, I said it. Control. Controlling your food, controlling your weight and the way you look, controlling your finances, controlling the image that other people have of you, controlling your ego, controlling your thoughts, controlling your things. Let me tell you, as someone who grew up and spent a lot of time in the modeling industry, spends time in the public eye on the internet, had acne and was bullied in school and online, that is really hard. <laughs> and especially for someone like me, who is a type A personality who wants to control my grades, it is really hard to give up control. But any form of over control is really just like a fear of lack. Fear that you don't have enough. Fear that you aren't enough fear that something is not going to happen right for you. But if you let go of control of having to have your life in a certain way, life kind of starts to present itself to you. It puts things in place where they need to be. You don't need to have it all figured out. It's okay to figure it out as you go. And some of the best inventions in history happened because of mistakes. That wasn't how they were supposed to turn out. It happened on accident, but it happened the way it was meant to be. And if you're focused on a certain outcome and controlling how that happens, you might be blind to amazing opportunities or amazing things that would happen if you were just open to that and maybe looking the other direction, just a glance to see that it was there. It's okay to be unapologetically you. You don't have to control your image. You are beautiful the way you are. You don't have to change your face or your outfits or anything like that to make people like you. When you think of paintings, the original is always worth more than the copy. You are so valuable and important to the world just the way you are. You do not have to change or control the outcome of anything. And when you start to just kind of listen and let that process happen, things start to fall into place the way they should. Always reach for those goals and always work towards productivity and bettering yourself, but don't be so tied to an outcome. And letting go of control also means letting go of a lot of stress, which just makes you a happier, more enjoyable person all around. So that being said, I really hope that you found this video helpful. Don't make goals this New Year's. You can make goals on any day at any time. Instead, this New Year's focus on letting go of these three things so that you can grow into the person that you're meant to be. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know. Again, everything that I say is based on my personal life experience and the hardships and the successes that I've had. And if you know someone who's going through something right now or who could maybe benefit from this information, consider hitting the white arrow and sharing this in a text or an email with them. That being said, remember that it is you that puts the you in beautiful. And again, nobody else can replace you. You are perfect, wonderful, and valuable just the way you are. So here's to an amazing new year. I hope that this video puts some ideas into your head and a smile onto your face. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.